I don't care whether you're invested or not. But it sounds to me like you're you're throwing shade all over the reasons why Pete bought NVIDIA. Pete can defend <laughs> himself. I'll let him do that right now. Well, I'll tell you the trade I would have done. The trade I would have done is I would have had I would have looked for less upside and bought some of the other semis that aren't trading at 45 times earnings because if they miss that stuff gets crushed right but if you buy something else whether whether it's a Skyworks or Corvo okay that's also been crushed and trading 10 times earnings you'll participate to the upside or you can just buy the SMH but buying Nvidia yeah I mean look nobody knows so you're flying blind hopefully Pete took some protection on it Ben, hopefully he does well. I wish him the, ba the best on it. But it's just not a trade I would ever do getting front of earnings in this environment. I hate you, Pete, but I hope you do well. <laughs> yeah, I don't hate well, Pete. I, I, that's know, fantastic. I think he's cackling. So, I so find it pretty so amusing. So respond, Pete. So respond. I mean, because I felt like Scott, that was a uh, whole thing of throwing shade at the reason why you bought NVIDIA. Right. And, and uh, I understand what Steve's saying, but I think you also have to understand NVIDIA for a long period of time. We, we've talked about where it trades and what its valuations were, and it was extremely high. Right. And if you go back not too long ago with AMD's earnings, take a look at what those earnings really looked like and what the initial reaction was to those earnings. So I, I'm not saying they're going to do exactly the same thing. But when you look at data centers and that's a big uh, engine that we're looking at for NVIDIA, they've got graphic chips. They do it all basically. Right. Uh, we talk about we talk about the EV space. Well, there's somebody who's very, very involved in that space as well when it comes to automobiles. So when you look at NVIDIA, all of what it offers, I think it's taken a lot of pain. I understand what Steve's saying, but this was not bought just because this stock was a $330 stock in November. That's not why I bought it. I bought it because I think fundamentally when I look at what those free cash flows have been and what I think they will be, Going forward, yes, maybe they pull in a little bit. Yes, maybe some of the some of the numbers aren't exactly what everything we're looking for. But I think with it, that's why I've been so selective in this environment. I think we heard Lee Cooperman talking about exactly that. You've got to be selective. Well, I have been selective. I bought so far this year Goldman Sachs, Best Buy, and now NVIDIA. I look at all three of those as unbelievable companies that have great balance sheets. They've got great fundamentals, and I think they can continue to have great fundamentals going into the future. And now I'm buying it at a dramatic discount. Now, I'm not saying I bought the bottom, but I still feel like I'm getting a pretty good deal right now on NVIDIA. And by the way, and I didn't get a chance to mention this, I apologize, I did sell upside calls against it. Look at the implied volatility. I talk about this all the time. Going into earnings, it's absolutely in the stratosphere. I'm selling calls that are out next month that are $10 above where the stock is right now, and I'm getting nearly $10 for those calls. So that's a trade that I like. It gives me protection to the downside by $10. There's a lot of reasons why I like the trade. And uh, potentially, I could be in NVIDIA for a fairly long time. I mean, it's typical, it's typical of your general strategy and most of the things you do in, in, the, in yep. the, the calls that you have uh, against it and, and things like that. I mean, it, this is not new in the yes. way you've talked about certain things. So Weiss, as right. I said, and I'll give you a chance to respond. I mean, the Nasdaq is down, as I said, 30 percent. Is your argument that... You think it's going down a lot more. So trying to, I mean, NVIDIA is down a lot. It's been, it's been nearly cut in half. If the NASDAQ itself is close to a bottom, don't you think that NVIDIA and some of these other mega cap stocks would be as well? So why wouldn't it be a good move if you think, like maybe Pete does, that the worst of the selling in tech, especially big tech, is over? Um. I don't know that it, that it's over, frankly. Well, uh, nobody I, knows. As I said, the back to, Right, exactly. So why would I step in? I've said this repeatedly. I don't want to catch the next 10% upside, downside or the next 20% downside. And NVIDIA, if they miss, I'm glad Pete does have protection, it can go down a lot more than that. You could have had the same conversation on NVIDIA at 200. I mean, why is 42 times or whatever this year the, the line in the sand? That's ludicrous. At the end of the day, competition will catch up. At the end of the day, their markets will be mature. I think it's a great company. I think they've got great products, but they don't operate in a vacuum. And when you have earnings multiples like that, you don't need a big miss to bring it back into reality. So, look, here's what I'd say. Um, there are some things you can buy, but I'd just rather wait like until what? the dust clears a little what bit are, what more. What are the 